the weather outlook for October, November, December 2019 season is as follows. Now, the forecast for the October, November, December short range season is uh, yeah, it's as follows. The climate outlook for October, November, December short rains season indicates that most of the country is likely to experience enhanced rainfall. This will be driven by warmer than average sea surface temperatures over the Western Equatorial Indian Ocean adjacent to the East African coastline, coupled with cooler than average sea surface temperatures over the Eastern Equatorial Indian Ocean adjacent to Australia. This constitutes a positive Indian Ocean dipole that is favorable for good rainfall over much of East Africa. The distribution of the rainfall in time and space is expected to be generally good over most places, especially during October and the peak month of November. Generally dry conditions are, however, likely to prevail over much of the country for most of December. Now we look at the September 2019 weather outlook uh, because we consider that if we look, we, we tell you about the OMD, you still ask us about this month. On average, most parts of the country will experience generally sunny and dry weather conditions during the month of September, except Western Kenya, the Lake Basin region, and Central Rift Valley. The central regions will experience occasional cool and cloudy conditions in the morning and afternoon showers, especially at the beginning of the month. The forecast for October, November, December constitutes an important rainfall season in Kenya. Uh, during OMT 2019, it is expected that most parts of Kenya will experience enhanced above average rainfall that will be well distributed both in time and space. Now the specific uh, outlook for October, November is as follows. The areas likely to receive above normal uh, rainfall include the western counties, Busia, Vihiga, Kakameka, Ugoma, Nyanza counties, Kisumu, Siaya, Homabay, Nyamira, Bigori, Kisi, counties in southern, central, and North Rift Valley, that is Kericho, West Pokot, Nandi, Bomet, Baringo, Wasingishu, Transzoya, Nakuru, Laikipia, Narok, and parts of Kajiado, counties in central Kenya, Nyandarwa, Kirinyaka, Nyeri, Braga, Kiambu, uh, Nairobi County, counties in eastern region, Meru, Kembu, Taraka, and parts of Isiolo. Uh, some counties in southeastern Kenya, Machakos, uh, and the western parts of Makweni and Kitui, and counties in northwestern Kenya. Turkana, Samburu, Masabit, the western part of Masabit. Um, you saw from the diagram, I think it will be put up at some point, uh, where the demarcation is. The areas likely to receive near normal to above normal or slightly enhanced rainfall include northeastern counties, uh, that is Mandera, Wajia, Garissa, and parts of Isiola, <coughs> counties in the coast region, Mombasa, Kilifi, Kwade, Lam, and Tana River. Some counties in southeastern Kenya, like uh, Taita Tangata, Makweni, Kitui, and most of Tana River. Now, the onset and cessation. Um, the western counties will continue to receive rainfall. So it's raining now and it will continue uh, up to the third to fourth week of December. The counties in central Kenya and counties uh, along the coastal strip and even the counties in the South Rift 
the onset will be from the second to third week of October. Ah, let me split that, sorry about that. The counties in central Kenya, the onset will be second to third week of October. The cessation will be second to third week of December. The coastal strip, onset second to third week of October, and uh, cessation first to second week of December. Then the South Rift, the onset is second to third week of October, but the cessation is fourth week of December to first week of January. Uh, counties in northwestern, that is to Kana Samburu, third week of October, third to fourth, to fourth week of October, that is the onset, and the cessation is the fourth week of November to the first week of December. The northeastern counties, Bandera, Wajia, Garissa, Masabit, the onset will be from the third to fourth week of October, and the cessation will be the fourth week of November to the first week of December. Southern Kenya and parts of the coastal region, that is the southeastern lowlands, including Taita, Taveta, Makweni, Kitui, Tana River, and even Kajiado. The onset will be fourth week of October to first week of November, and the cessation will be third to fourth week of December. Now, and uh, look a bit on the expected uh, potential, the potential impacts for the October, November, December rains. In view of the forecasted rainfall, many sectors are likely to be impacted in various ways. With adequate preparations, the country can avoid some of the likely negative impacts while taking full advantage of the positive ones. The most likely impacts are highlighted here. Agriculture, livestock development, and food security sectors. Enhanced rainfall is expected over most agricultural areas of the country. It is also expected that the rainfall will be well distributed, making it favorable for agricultural activities. Foliage and pasture conditions in the pastoral areas of northeastern, northwestern, and southeastern Kenya are expected to improve significantly as a result of the expected good rainfall performance during this season. Uh, environment and natural resources sector. The anticipated enhanced rainfall is likely to result in improved vegetation in most parts. <coughs> in line with the presidential directive to increase forest cover by 10% uh, by the year 2022, Kenyans are encouraged to take advantage of the expected good rainfall and plant trees in order to increase forest cover. Disaster management sector. In Western Kenya, where enhanced rainfall is expected, lightning strikes may occur, especially in counties like uh, Kisi, Kisumu, Kakamega, and Ngoma. Um, cases of flooding are also highly uh, probable. In the health sector, poorly drained areas may cause pools of stagnant water which may become conducive for breeding of disease-causing pathogens. Transport and public sector, uh, public safety sector. The expected rainfall may cause slippery roads in some parts of the country. This may result in conditions that may cause accidents. Flash floods may cause transport challenges, especially during rush hour. Uh, but for Kenyans, any time it rains, it's rush hour and more so in areas where the roads become impassable when it rains. The energy sector. The major river catchment areas for the country's hydroelectric power generating dams are forecast to receive near average to above average rainfall. And that is my statement. Um.